All right, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Welcome to the live stream. My name is David Lozo. This is the first time. Thanks for joining me. It's a long time and apologize. I'm glad you're still sticking with it. Appreciate you guys hanging out. So tonight we're going to do what we do. I've already worked ahead of you guys here. And so right now the acrylic is in the background. I have all the colors of gouache over that. Um, basically all the, the, uh, the shadows and highlights have all been done. And the next, the last stage is the line work. And that's what you're gonna watch here, probably about an hour, hour and a half. And I'll come right down here and do all the detail. And that's where all the kind of the, the fun bits go in. So we're gonna get to work here. I was just doing a little sketch warm up. I usually do before each uh, stream just to get the juices flowing. Again, throughout the stream, if you have any questions, feel free to fire them through. I'm just here with the uh, shipping department crew and the uh, Almighty Emperor behind the curtain. We're just uh, gonna put together and hang out. So again, thanks for joining us. Let's uh, pour some paint and get after it. Since I did nothing to get started because I was sketching around here. Nathan Anderson, so that's awesome. Hey Nathan, great to hear from you, man. OG's in the house. Gio Hendricks on Instagram says hello. Hey Gio, thanks for joining us. Over on Instagram. Gremlin Guy on Instagram says, what's up, David? Hello, Gremlin Guy. Stacy Kane says, hello. Stacy Kane. And speaking of Tucson, Michael Hill says, uh, you're my favorite artist. We miss you here in Tucson. Oh, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Appreciate you joining the stream. Yeah, it's a bummer not be here. Again, we were talking about last stream. This is the first time in 11 years that we uh, have been home for the first two weeks of, uh, of uh, December and not been out in Tucson and Tempe. So it's a really weird adjustment process for sure. I mean, we never home for Christmas. We don't decorate, we have no decorations. It's kind of a weird uh, adjustment period for sure. So we're gonna get paint in here. This is a little awkward up top here. So my hand might block some of it. Apologize in advance. Do I keep my other? All right, stuff's in my way here. Let's back. We're painting way up. Yeah, we're painting way up here. Did not plan this out very Andrea well. Andrea says it's already stunning. Thank you, Andrea. This is, a, again, the um, the frame this goes in is this. I love designing for the frame. You know, having this size piece. I mean, it just forces are very strange. And it's somewhat challenging for me to like get my brain into what works in that format. Um, it's kind of a fun, it's so different. I mean, the bummer part is they can't make prints of it because it's such a weird size, but it's just a really fun, unique um, design because it just only fits that weird shape. You'd never paint in that shape otherwise. So. Esther Rogers, also from Tucson, hello. Tucson, more <laughs> Tucson in the house. Thank oh, you, Esther. We've disappointed so much Tucson. Yep, sorry Tucson. Mm. Michael is asking any new Western pieces coming out. So hopefully once we get past the new year, um, we are lacking some Western stuff. So hopefully we'll get to, we'll jam out some more. It's been a while. And Liliano, Instagram says, I uh, love your drawings. Thank you, Liliano. Welcome from Instagram, hanging out. Gremlin says, wait, you're left-handed? <laughs> yeah, all this left-handed. You're so brave. I know, overcome a lot. He does his left handed. He's like a saint. Crazy. These lines I, lo I love um, right now. This part right here, because I'm doing a, a skull that's not really a skull, so it's total freedom to, you know, be creative with it. Um, it's funny the things that could get me jazzed to do. Like, that's just, there's no rules. I can kind of, you know, do whatever I want, and I really enjoy that. So it's very fun and loose and. Stacy says Brian Setzer has a Christmas song called Cactus Christmas, and she can't help but think of your artwork when the, when she listens to it. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that song. We're going to look that up now. <laughs> Michael says uh, yes about the Western. That's his favorite collection. Dying to see some. Yes, yeah, so we got to do some more. We are, we are, I'm dropping the ball on the Western. So we'll get that sorted out. Robert says, uh, you've always been an inspiration. Love your work. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate that. 
are we super excited to inspire? It's one thing to, you know, to do the work, but when I can make other people do the work too and be creative, that's, that means a lot. Saying time to grind off the tattoo. Ooh, I don't know what that means. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. Let's just get a cover off. Talent. This is the one, one thing I do of a kind. Vicky Hatch is saying it looks awesome. Thank you, Vicky. Thanks for joining us. If you guys are new to the stream, tell me how you first found it. I always love hearing you know, where you guys have found the art. Satara is asking, is this sold yet? So Satara is asking, is this sold? And this is not sold. This is available. Um, this piece is $9.50, framed and shipped. And I think we could get it just about anywhere in the U.S. in time for Christmas. It's a little weird. I'm wacky out there right now. If you guys ship a lot, you'd... You might know, but if not, it's uh, just so you know, it's crazy. Things are just all over the place in terms of shipping. So, but if you have enough time, you could probably get there. International, you'd probably be waiting because there's some weird custom stuff going on. Angel on Instagram says this is awesome. Thank you, Angel. Appreciate it. Alex is saying hi, David. Hey, Alex. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, Angel's from Arizona, too. Ooh, a a Arizona's in the yeah, house. Yeah, man. Oh, All AZ. <laughs> I appreciate it. Miss all you guys. Alex said I made it. We're <laughs> a good schedule with, this, with the live stream. Yeah, we. If, if this is your first stream where you bounce around trying to see the streams before, um, right now we're just kind of bouncing around. We're not picking any set times. We just kind of light them up and and go after them, so. I can't be told what to do, man. I can't just you don't have, to set have a set time. I just have. can't handle it, man. So Michael says his sister introduced him to your stuff about 10 years back at the 4th Ave Street Fair. Oh, excellent. Appreciate your sister yeah. spamming you with the art. My sister. Oh, okay. And Satara is saying, um, she says, I need this piece. We first discovered you at an art gallery in Prescott. Oh, excellent. My goodness. Arizona, Arizona. So, Satara, if you would like more information or you would like to, to grab the piece, just put your comments in the uh, message me, and we will take care of that. You are first in line. Alfonso says, I did your work. Thanks, Alfonso. Welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> Randy on Instagram says, I can't stop buying your T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Appreciate it. Snagging the shirts. I know, Randy, um, I demand samples of all the shirts we made. I, I just have so many. Sarah's in the house. That's what up, bro? What's going on, Sarah? Glad you could join us here. I was meaning to reach out and see if you also re received a box of dysfunction cookies. Did you tell her yet? No. There's a story for you, Sarah. Randy's saying, uh, California native, Navy veteran, Peloton rider. Yeah. I think we Jesus, covered. I got you. You can't ever get away, man. You're stuck. <laughs> we're, we're going to your Facebook and... Like, yeah, okay, what else is he like? <laughs> he will never get away. Oh, Sarah's saying she got something, too. Ah, nice. Okay. For her family and her to enjoy. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Deandra is watching from Hawaii. Oh. First saw you in Arizona. Aloha, Deandra. Thanks for joining us. She's stationed uh, out there now. Uh, 
Um, oh, with Satara. Okay. All right. So <laughs> everybody's joining the stream. Um, they're both going into the Space Force. Holy shit. The Space Oh, Okay, we're going to do the Space Force piece. Holy. People are getting into the Space Force. Mm-hmm. I would love first hand account of how that process works. <laughs> yeah. But once it can officially start. Oh, okay. So Randy's a girl. All right. Um, but loves the t-shirts and is a California native, but now in Texas. But you have some, you have some tough girls, some, some good, uh, Texas looking girls. Yes. We're always adding texas e girls. <laughs> That's probably sexist and I apologize for that. I'm very... I just, I just assumed you're in Texas. You're probably on the gun side of the <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I do not stand by anything said on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I in no way stand behind. I just went on my own. Brent says hi from Denver. All hey, right. Brent. Everybody's around today. Yeah. Bill is saying, is that a commissioned piece? No, this is not a commissioned piece, Bill. This is available. This is um, nine fifty at this in the frame, shipped anywhere in the in the world. In the U.S., I could probably get it there for Christmas. If you're outside of the world, then you might be a little after Christmas because customs is wacky. But yes, it is available, and there is no prints of this because it's a weird size. It's a one-off. Scraps just popped in on. Uh... YouTube to say, hey guys, can't watch right now, but popped in to say hi, and I'll check it out. For I you. appreciate it, Scraps. That's nice. You're popping in to say I can't watch it. <laughs> Finally, we're doing some skulls. <laughs> scraps, gonna blow your mind. <laughs> You're gonna get tired of the skulls. Randy's saying, uh, my friend introduced me to the art, and now I'm always on the lookout for new prints. I would say, though, there should be a good amount coming before Valentine's Day. Yes. Lots of new stuff. Yeah, there'll be a Western piece that will be coming before Valentine's Day. I know somebody asked. I, uh, I do have a couple's Western piece commission that I'm working on right now that will be available um, in prints. It's a uh, gunslinger and his lady of ill repute, and that will be, um, will be available. And again, and for Valentine's Day, we'll have a whole bunch of new pieces for the Valentine's Day sale. So keep an eye out for that. If you're new, you'll see um, all kinds of stuff. I release a bunch of uh, ink and watercolor pieces, along with some enamel, small enamel pieces this year, strictly for, uh, for Valentine's Day. So keep an eye out for that stuff. Because Christmas isn't even here yet, and already it's time for Valentine's Day. Pirate Hooker pops in, says it's looking rad. What's going on? Caleb checking out the stream. More OGs. Sarah saying it would be amazing if you did a tarot deck. Yes, we are <laughs> well aware of the damn tarot deck. <laughs> I know, I've let everybody oh, down. It would just be so much work. It's so much work, it's so many pieces. I know I have, some of the pieces now I have, you know, fit it and it could be used for, but a lot don't. So I have to make a lot. So we are aware, we're, we're working on it. I'm gonna try and get it done. Yeah, Michael Hill says definitely do Western. <laughs> yeah. And Sarah's saying, I don't care, do it. Do a tarot deck. Yes, we are aware of the tarot decking. Well, the good thing is, is, is there, there's, there's a lot that fit already, but the formats are all wonky and weird. And, yeah. Now you'd have to focus on a total set. Yeah. It would, that would be a lot, work. a lot of work. But our schedule is totally different. So, you know, maybe, you know, there's a way. You could do one a month or. What is there? Is there 20? 24. Yes, sir. How many cards are in a deck? Maybe that would help us. And can I just do 24 death cards? <laughs> can my deck, can my tarot deck just be 24 death cards? <laughs> oh, this isn't looking good for you. Divine Junior's in the house. Welcome, Divine. <laughs> Probably the first time we have not seen her at Christmas time in 10 years. 10 years. <sighs> Randy says she received the I Love You with Tacos and the, um, the We Just Fit. Excellent. Good choices. Good choices. Uh, better not be for Christmas yet. Who's giving out Christmas presents already? <laughs> You've been trying to open Christmas presents for two weeks. So. Uh, yeah. Once they're wrapped, they're just annoying. <laughs> 
Sparrow Rose is saying this needs to be my next tattoo. <laughs> it would be cute. Um, be cute on an arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or on a cat. You haven't even seen the fun, the cute part of the guys at the bottom. Or if you're brave, get it on the ribs. Yeesh. Crazy. Or if you're big like me, you can get the rest of the solar system with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah popped up. Let me see if I can find how many cards are in a tarot deck. Probably a lot. How was it? Like 20 something, something in that ballpark. Pardon me while I put this upside down for one second. 78 cards in a tarot deck. I'll never do a tarot deck. That is 78 million cards. There's not a chance in hell. Not a chance in hell. Nope. Excuse me while I. Chance in hell. Here's some tips here. Let me draw a line. Cheater. What a cheater. Yeah, Sarah just confirmed there's 22 and then there's 56. Holy They're cow. Like, almost like two different sets. That is never going to never happen. Never going to happen. <laughs> so, you, you will get a death card. Go get your own goddamn tarot deck. Yeah. Is that back where it's supposed to be? Let me make sure yeah. I'm right. Connie says she's mesmerized and the background music's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Connie. We uh, probably enjoy picking background music more than we should. We use um, cleared music. Whenever you do a live stream, it has to be cleared. So we use a company called Epidemic Sound. And it's really fun to pick. They have all kinds of weird stuff. I mean, it's made for videos and stuff. So it's really a unique collection of stuff. Yeah, this music is like really like quirky, cartoony. Kind of funny. If you guys have any questions also, feel free to fire them through. painting the dark side of the moon right now. Sort itself out. <laughs> well, Sarah's saying uh, Facebook is stupid, but Instagram is just as bad right now. Ah. It's it's um, it's back, but it, it's really janky. Well, if you also, I know you guys are in trouble on uh, Instagram and Facebook. If you want to go on YouTube, I think we're a little more stable over there. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. We tried to pick it a little earlier, but that seven o'clock, seven thirty is always uh, seems to be everybody is screwing up my internet's. Yeah. Oh, looking good, David. It's Nakia. Oh, Nakia. Oh my gosh. This is, like a, this is like an old school day. <laughs> Everybody's coming. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. Sarah was thinking it was her um, it, her internet. It's not. It's it's the feed. No, it is. Yeah, the feed it's is chunky. Too much competition out there. Nothing good, but yes. Are you watching that Tom Cruise video of him freaking out? Yeah. I will not not have good internet. No. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Get to these uh, these guys down here now. I'm gonna move that piece down. Make some more lines first. All 
I'm going to slide the uh, top cam over to this guy here. Bear with here. Shake your cam. Alright, now we can kind of see both. Is that good? I don't have access to any. So, no, she, um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so Tara would like to get it. So it's gone. Yeah. All right. So, so let me just reiterate. So this piece is now gone. So thank you, Satara. I appreciate that. And I like, I'm, and I'm glad you guys here during the stream get a chance at this stuff. We, we didn't show it because we actually wanted someone on the stream if they wanted it because we kind of, if you're going to sit here and listen to me babble, you should at least get rewarded or have the chance to get something exclusive. So, um, what was it again? How much was it? 950 shipped. And it will ship on... Thursday. Thursday. Got it all clear coated tomorrow. Get it in the frame. Get it all prayed up. And just so you guys know, I have two more smalls. I'm gonna paint tomorrow offline. I'm gonna record them though, so we'll have the time out this video or release later on. But um, two more smalls, just trying to get a couple more that can be done that can be there in time for Christmas. So, if someone wants to see what those are because they feel like they missed out, let me know and I'll show you what those paintings are gonna be. Push Nikki, mm-hmm. Over on um, Instagram. Yep. And um, David Polnoff over on Facebook says hi, David. Thank you, David. Thank you for joining us. Push Nikki too over on Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Nakia says, looks so cool, David. Sending holiday wishes to all in your home and the pups. Thank you, Nakia. Appreciate it. The pups appreciate it, too. Although they're doing nothing. Disapproving. Oh, uh, David is saying that um, Voodoo Mayhem, the, the bike club. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they just picked up their uh, signed Voodoo Priest. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's probably the nicest stitching I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yep, I have mine sitting right over here. Doorbell popped in. You're a machine belt whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, doorbell. See, now you got me calling that. I, don't I know. know. <laughs> I thought it was doorbell, because that's what probably called them so much. So that's... <laughs> so that's what it is. Yeah. So it shall be. Hey, thanks, Zippus. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think so, Z-I-P-P-I-S. All right. Thanks for joining us on Twitch. Follower number three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we do our best. Yeah. If you want a front row seat, Twitch is wide open. <laughs> yeah. 
Brent is saying, are you ever coming back to Denver for any shows or exhibits? Brent's asking, am I coming back to Denver? I don't think so. I mean, besides all the shows being canceled, we've actually retired from doing shows. So we are off the road for good. The trailer's gone. The, the, the stuff is gone. It will still happen going forward, but I have no idea where those will be right now. Doble says, um, Douche Bell is his actual favorite nickname. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, um, do you ever have a beverage on the go while doing this? I Not don't usually, because I, I, I can't remember to even breathe while I'm doing it. I usually have just um, my emergency chit-chat water. Zippus is taking off uh, to go eat, but it says we'll catch you later, or she. We'll catch you later. Well, thank you, Zippus. And now my my Twitch goes to zero again. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. We had such movement on the old Twitch. But thank you. Brett, uh, Brent is booing you for not coming back to Colorado. I would boo me too. Yep. So on the beverage front, like sometimes you'll have like a an old lady amaretto. Yes, I will have an old lady amaretto. Thank, appreciate you calling that out. Yeah. I just think if people were to know what you're drinking, it's yeah, it's old lady amaretto. <laughs> is that not cool? Old Was Italian it... grandfather. Yeah, is that not, not are the kids not doing that? There's no white claw amaretto version. Alan over on Instagram is saying, "What kind of brush is that?" Thank you, Alan. So this is a pinstriping brush. It's a script liner, and it's a size 5-0. Dorville is asking, what's that? Amaretto is an old oh. Italian person's liqueur. It's for old Italian men. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, so I guess that's what it is. <laughs> it's a liqueur. What does it taste like? Kind of almond? A hazel, a hazelnut. Hazelnut. Yeah. Yeah. Kind it's of a sweet. hazelnut liqueur. Yeah. But in the bottle, it looks just like whiskey. That's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally cool. It's something you would just, like, sip a, an inch of. It's... It's what they would bring you after your spaghetti's done. Yeah, it's, it's not... Yeah, I get it. It's not cool. I get it. It's not that cool. I'm well aware of my uncoolness. <laughs> Brent says, I uh, started following years ago from, oh, the taco shop. Oh, right yeah. Outside of uh, Denver. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing artist. We've picked up a few figurines over the years. Look forward to something bigger or custom. And thanks for being awesome. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Was it in the taco yeah, shop again? What was the name of the taco shop? Uh, Forget what the name of that place was. Oh god, it just slipped my mind. We had dropped the art off there because we were doing shows in Colorado. We were there that day, like yeah, we were doing the event. We were doing an event. He even came to the booth afterwards and got more art for the for the restaurant. Yeah, and the owner took stuff we had on hand, and we never really got to enjoy it. We I think we ate there once. Yes, but it was, it was like pre-opening. Yeah. What else did you carry the stars in? I, I didn't know. <laughs> it's like a custom backpack. Yeah, yeah. To hold stars. North Face. Alan's asking, do you use pinstriping paint as well? Yes, Alan. So this is, uh, I'm using one shot, which is uh, a, pin a pinstriping paint. And that is why you see it goes on so completely opaque. And I can kind of, you know, use it like, almost like a like a dark ink. And I use one shot, not alpha. Well, I'm just picking a fight every time I enter that. I feel like I'm throwing down. I don't use alpha, man. Wow. Pick Doesn't matter to anybody, yeah. Brent can't remember the name of that taco shop either. Your ex friend that bartended there. Yeah. It's like it's like either like Boros or 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 a bull in the name. Toros, would, yeah, Toro or right? something. I, I, don't, I don't know. I thought it was a bull.
<laughs> no. <laughs> Renee uh, says, did I hear you're making a tarot deck soon? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Renee. <laughs> oh, Renee. Renee, I totally was until I found out there's like a billion cards in one deck. Yeah. So we have kibosh that. It was, so, it was considered until, it was 78 cards? Yeah, we considered for 10 minutes, 78 cards, so you're going to get a death card. Yeah, you might get a death card. Give you a, a one card deck. Alan saying, um, yeah, I love that. My favorite one shot color is Sublime Green. <laughs> yep. Also a favorite, Sublime Green, and I love the orange. Renee saying, do it. I feel like I feel like she was sent here to. Renee, were you sent here? This is this <laughs> is bullshit. This... <laughs> to force the tarot yeah. decks. Is there a tarot forum I've been posted on? But 70 cards is so many. Renee just caught to it when he said, oh, has she been set here? And she says, well, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Outed. Hmm. There's a plot. William Salinas says, uh, this is so beautiful. Thank and you, William. I uh, says, um, I own three pieces, have one more coming for Christmas, and it looks like I'll be adding another one. Thank you, William. Appreciate it. And how do you know what you're getting for Christmas? <laughs> Renee's saying the tarot deck uh, pack would just be a challenge. You could do it. So encouraging. So encouraging. I, wow. <laughs> Ice Cream Assassin is saying, wait a minute, are you Southpaw? Mm -hmm. I am, and your name is awesome. Ice Cream Assassin. <laughs> Take your job seriously. Yeah. If you're gonna kill things, it should be ice cream. Yeah. This is like the shoddiest ladder. I would not. It, it's kind this of is not OSHA. Yeah, no. Thank you, William. Yes, we're it's funny right now. Um, so we just released. Uh, I don't know if you even posted about it. my custom snowboards just got released. Two designs over on thehouse.com. Um, we'll post up those later. Um, so I'm super excited for those to be out. And we just uh, finished a skate deck series with Technique skateboards and released that. And we're actually working on a new series for them for next year. So a lot of a lot of long art form projects, meaning the, the format, which I love to paint. So, you never know what we're going to pop in. We're really going outside the lines with the um, ideas for what can be the on the art. We used a space race for the new snowboards. It looks so killer. I never would have thought to use that. Apologize if you guys are getting banged around with the feed. I know it's getting a little uh, clunky right now. Apologize for that. It's not our fault, but the internets. It's the internets. Is um, it's grand tours come out till tomorrow. So let's cruise right along here. So if you're new here again, feel free to fire in some questions. Yeah, I appreciate you guys all hanging out. Where 
right now I'm doing the enamel portion of the painting. I cheated and have the uh, background and the uh, colors were all done before. Because that's kind of boring and you guys don't need to see that. It's just labors on. It's hours of that. This is the fun part. Michael Stegman is asking, is this sold? Hey, Michael, thanks for the stream. Yes, it's just sold a few minutes ago. Wow, rub it in. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're so late. Puppies to get, man. You can't be buying art. Place to go. Leah says, I feel like this would be a cool skateboard deck. Huh. You know, I, it, it's funny. We, we never usually consider the cute stuff for the skate decks. I mean, do teenage dudes want to run that, you know? I don't know. Well, that's, that's, that's also very sexist. <laughs> it's the right format, for sure. Which is always hard to, to get something that fits it. I love that star is I don't know. I'm wondering if you should do prints of this. Um, I guess it would be canvas only. Yeah, we could do prints. It would be canvas only. It is awful cute. Yeah, Michael says, I really like the moon. Yeah, it's really, it's cool. And this is the second moon piece I've done, and we didn't do prints of that one either. Mm. All right, we'll TBD that one. Maybe he'll just be in canvas prints. Let me know if you guys care. And you all have to show up if you say you want them, and then you guys all disappear when I make them. I'll come to your house, force it on you. The art. Okay, I meant the art. I want to get me too'd. How is he holding that? Brenda Devine popped in, says hi, rocking it as usual. I've died for that. Hey, Brenda, thank you for joining us. The younger Divine was over on Instagram earlier, but she left us. Ugh. <laughs> Divine's all over the place. <laughs> Sergio is asking what type of uh, paint are you using? So Sergio is asking what type of paint I'm using. So this is enamel. It's basically like an opaque, no, sorry, it's not an opaque watercolor. So enamel is, that's the way to, it's a sign painter's paint. It's, just, it's the pinstripers, the paint they use on, you know, motorcycles and cars, the, the little filigree and the designs they put. Um, so it's, it's uh, that kind of paint. So it's completely opaque. Um, use chemicals to reduce it. It's not water-based. It's more, um, I believe you'd say it's oil-based. Um, it stays tacky for about four to six hours. Um, and the reason I love it is because it's completely opaque. You know, every stroke I make, it's completely dark. There's no, I don't need to go back. I don't need to, you know, do anything else. So it's, it's almost like a, like a, a painting with ink. If that makes any sense.
to move it up quite a bit for me to uh, see what we're doing. Let's do that then. Moving on up. Moving on up. This is my paint of choice. It's been what I do all my enamel with, and it has been for 10 years. One shot don't pay, so one shot doesn't get mentioned. Have you always been into painting skulls and skeletons? So great question. I've always been into painting skulls and skeletons. I drew, when I was a kid, I drew you know, skulls and stuff on you know on textbooks and desks and stuff. But I really was inspired um, much later in my career, about 15 years ago, um, moving to Southern California, seeing the Day of the Dead celebration. I grew up on the East Coast and had never seen anything like it before. Um, just the colors, the pageantry, the idea of remembering loved ones lost was just so amazing. Um, I wanted to capture that. I want. I was jealous. I didn't have something like that to remember my loved ones and. And share that. I was just so inspired by the cultural, just everything about it. You know, the smells and, and sharing their favorite foods and stories. And, and I just was so inspired. And it was right as I was starting, you know, to do more art. And it just took over. My, it became all I wanted to do. You know, I traveled to Mexico to see the celebration. I just want to be part of it. I wanted to see it. It's all I wanted to paint. And basically kind of gave me my direction for my entire career. And I do animals and um, stuff that's not skeletal, nautical, and all kinds of different things. Uh, I just love the skeletons because it's just, it's capturing, you know, it's not, you know, look at this, it's not man, women, it's not, you know, black, white, it's not red hair, black, it's, anybody who sees this can relate because you are this. And it just, be, it helps me simplify a story and just, you know, really get to the core of, of telling the story. And I really enjoy that, that aspect. Yes, yeah, Stacy said, speaking of the Day of the Dead parade when the pandemic's over, you should come to Tucson. You know, we've heard they have a pretty good one. Yeah, we've never made it to, to the uh, the procession in Tucson. We've seen all the pictures, and everyone mentions it every time we're there. They always assume that we've been in it. But yeah, we have not gotten to see it yet. Brent is asking, have you ever painted a nautical theme on a giant conch shell? I have, it's a crazy question. I have not painted a nautical theme on a conch shell. Oh, it feels like it's going to be a disastrous surface to paint on. Mm. I feel like that would battle me. And that's the problem with me because I'm such a baby. I need the super smooth. I mean, I've done line oriented, my line, line work oriented, my painting. It's, it's very difficult to do surfaces that aren't, you know, smooth. Um, I've done some, you know, Kevlar helmets, you know, military helmets, and it's just a nightmare. You know, I try and basically usually give it primer coats to kind of make it smooth because I need smooth surface to do what I do. Sergio saying, um, yeah, I, I started drawing Day of the Dead and Aztec calendars and gods. Yep. Yeah. Well, and, and I would, I have to do some Aztec pieces. It's been 15 years of doing this and I haven't done any yet. I have some cool Jaguar warriors I want to do and just haven't got to it yet, but I do want to tackle it one of these days, kind of in, in my, my idea, my little inspired different kind of way. It's, I love the imagery and the pieces. Um, going to Chichen Itza and seeing the the skull um, altars, just man, so inspired. I'm just dying to do that piece one of these days, so that will happen. I just have so many things I want to paint. It's difficult for me sometimes to narrow it down. I have our ADD. I just want to do all the things, and sometimes that works against me. Yeah, Michael's saying uh, you should definitely make prints of this. Well, it is, you don't have anything like it. So. No, nothing like it. Tessia Rosa over on Instagram says, The Moon and the Stars. I love this. Thank you. Is it Tessa Rosa? Uh, Tessia Rosa. Tessia Rosa. If I'm saying it wrong. I apologize. Thank you for joining me. Appreciate it.
And that goes back to why I love these cute characters, because it just lets me do things I just don't get to do with the more serious pieces sometimes. You know, a serious piece with that kind of moon yeah, wouldn't make it, you know, it kind of, you lose that, but with these guys, it, it's perfect. So I always kind of enjoy having those two different styles. It just keeps me, you know, nothing's off limits. I can find a way, you know, one of these characters is gonna work for anything I wanna do. Sergio's saying, um, awesome, I started Meglantaculi, which is the Aztec god of the dead, um, but I've been on all these California fires for the past few months, so I can't wait to finish. Oh, he must be a fireman. Nice. Or he's setting them all. <laughs> Hopefully you're a fireman not setting all the fires that you're busy doing. But... <laughs> Please tell me you are assisting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's really cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's some great, some of the gods are there's great stuff. And I haven't, I have never got a chance to get into it. To do it. Brenda says she's got to run, but it looks gorgeous. Happy holidays. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Tessio Rosa says the new moon was yesterday. Rituals for miracles. Oh, it's a good time. Ah, good see. Totally knew that. D over on uh, Instagram says I met you once at Downtown Disney and you signed one of the prints I bought of yours. I really appreciate it and love watching your process. Um, I hope you're well, and I want to make it, uh, I want to make a living out of it. I do art as well. Well, thank you, Dee. I appreciate you coming by Disney. appreciate you joining the stream now, too. I, I really missed that. The fact Wonder has gone is a real bummer. That was a really, I just enjoyed sharing stories and meeting other art, you know, art students and other artists. So, yeah, I wish you the best, and, and, and thank you again for continuing to follow. Make stuff. make tiny star backpacks. on Instagram says I really want to buy one but for uh, fear of its condition making it all the way to Egypt um. so no no um, so we have shipped to everywhere in the world we just about have sent up um, originals to um, everywhere this Christmas we've done Australia um, the UK we've done I've shipped to um, Saudi Arabia you know we've done all those no problems at all I think the bigger question is is there, is there any um, Resistance yes, to the, so skulls the, or skeletons. Yeah, so the first question is more on your side. Is there any customs, cultural uh, issues to importing skull imagery? Um, we faced a few uh, Middle Eastern countries have had issues with that um, that we could not ship to. Um, so, But if, if that is not an issue, we can get it to you um, without a problem. I would, not, I would not worry about that. We've shipped plenty, especially the small ones, because I can wrap the crap. I mean, they're fully insulated. They can be kicked all the way to Egypt. I wouldn't advise that, but they could. They could. Bjork in the house, Norway. Norway's in the house. <laughs> well, that's nice. William Selena says, I just found and purchased the skateboard from Technic. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Nice. 
Yeah, they did a great job with the boards. I was really excited. Um, again, the first run sold out so fast. It's just, it's amazing. So we're really excited um, to work with them some more. They're really excited by it all. So when you work with a company, you know, you want it to go well. You want them to do well. It's less about, you know, obviously I want the boards to sell, you know, yay me, but I want them to be happy. You know, I want them to be excited to, to do more stuff. Natalia um, is asking, did you sell this one yet? No. Natalia, this one is gone already. But we have a, um, we'll be doing these live streams, you know, up to Christmas to try and get some more. But afterwards, too, we're going to, this is what we do now. We don't, I used to do, show, my whole career was spent doing festivals and shows, and that is done. Um, I've retired from shows. So live streaming is what we're going to do, and we're always doing these small pieces, and 99% of the time, they are all available, you know, from the time I post up the sketch. So if you see the sketch that, hey, we're live streaming tonight and here's what we're working on, the piece is available from that point on. And most of the time, that's usually it sells at that point before I start it. So feel free to, if you have any questions about pieces or is that available, don't hesitate to shoot a line over and, and ask and, you know, so you don't miss out. Casey's saying I absolutely love this painting. Thank you, Casey. This is a fun one. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. Well, again, sometimes paintings um, sit around from the point where I do a sketch to when they get painted because it's just, they're not in the workflow. Uh, but this I sketched. When did I sketch this? Last night. Last night. Yeah. So I always enjoy painting it when it's you know fresh in the head. Sergio says, have a great night. Keep making awesome stuff. Got to put the baby to sleep and give the wife a break. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sergio. You should do both those things so you can join us more. Because <laughs> if you don't do those things, you will not be allowed to play on the internet. Ryan Ballard says, this is a cool piece. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Stacey Kane says, you know, Kiss and Motley Crue said they were retired, but look at them now. They need to come back. I hope you'll travel and do shows in the future. <laughs> we're never ruling it out completely. Natalia's like, dibs, 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 dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. And that's the way, Natalia, again, if you ever see anything, just message. Yeah. Speak up or message. Yeah. This one, again, went just you know, half an hour ago to someone watching the stream, so... Not to rub it in how close you were. <laughs> so close. But again, for, for years we weren't, didn't have any time to do the smalls like this. So this has been fun to to find a way people can get small. I mean, I know the originals we do are huge and, you know, very expensive. And it's just fun to have smaller, you know, something other people can get. Original art. Bjork says he received his uh, canvas to Norway shipped uh, without any problems or damage. And the shipping job, the shipping department did a great job. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we have again, we have pretty good luck. Most of our stuff has been de our issues are domestic. Yeah, just just stuff getting you know wrecked and I mean we have for the amount of packages we do we we get very few. Right now it's just ridiculous because it's just a mess the uh, entire post office system, um, just because of, of all of the cutbacks and things they did, but. Um, normally, it's you know some random stuff here and there, but it's all domestic. We haven't had anything. Mm -mm, been pretty lucky. We had you know customs things right now have taken a long time. We had an Australia piece that sat in customs for a month. Um, we just had some UK pieces clear customs, and what were they in there for two weeks? Yeah, things can things can kind of get. Sick. Yeah, and you never know. It's just kind of, I mean that that UK piece showed up, and they actually cut the paper off the back to see you know behind the frame and really manhandled it to see what, what was going on there. It was a large piece, 1824, I believe. So it was a large box, and yeah, they um, molested that box pretty well. But again, the, the painting was, was fine. They just went through it. Julie says, I love this. Thank you, Julie. Appreciate you joining us. 
And D over on Instagram says, um, I always love your backgrounds. What is your process for painting them? And is it acrylic that you use? D, I can't tell you the special sauce, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, tell you how I make things magical. Um, so it's not a secret. Um, well, it is, but I'll tell you anyways. Um, so it is acrylic. The background is acrylic, and it's layers of acrylic. And I and this is this one background here is probably five or six layers. And I start with the, the lightest layer first, and I just apply it, and then I rub it off, I scrape it off. I just really, it's really a mess situation, but just tonally, and I just keep building up the tones and get darker and darker and darker, and I dry each layer in between. But it is acrylic, and it's layers of acrylic to kind of build that up. And I know kind of the tone I want, but how it ends up is kind of a mystery. You know, I knew this would end up with these colors, but you know, the splatteries and the different tonal things and you know, some of the purpley parts that are coming through, I don't know where those all will be that kind of evolves as I'm making it. Push up a little bit so you can see the little leg I'm doing. Sharon Bradford says, hi, David. Hey, Sharon, thanks for joining us. DK Bonillas gives you a thumbs up on Instagram. Thank you, DK. Missed his foot. So I'm going to finish this foot here and then I'll pop a bunch of white highlights to just kind of finish off the piece. So probably about 10 minutes left. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to get them in before I'm done. If you think of questions afterwards, just add it to this, uh, this feed and I'll make sure I answer them, get back to you. But again, thank you guys all for joining us. I appreciate it. We're just gonna keep doing these. If you guys keep showing up, I'll keep doing them. You know, I love your work. I'm still saving up for your version of a Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sharon, thank you for that. So it's not Godzilla, but we were just talking about, um, I want to do a dragon. I've never done one before. I've done an, um, an Asian inspired dragon, but I want to do kind of a hybrid full dragon piece. Um, so it's not Godzilla, but it's as close as you're going to get until Godzilla happens. Um, so I'm excited to try that. There's a bunch of things we haven't done before. You know, we haven't done anything like that. Um, I really, with Devil's Desire, the piece with the uh, the devil in the, in the um, traditional, um, what would you call her, Victorian style um, woman. You know, I, I like the, it's, it's kind of delving into that fantasy aspect and I haven't done much fantasy type stuff. So you will see a few other things coming. Again, okay, now they're off the road, I get to try a lot of things. I have more time, you know, there's some, definitely some, some pluses to, to some of that. So you'll see uh, a variety of pieces. I have a couple of commissions still coming out that will take the next big paintings you see from me. But then after that, you know, it'll get open. Valerie on Instagram says, nice artwork. Thank you, Valerie. Appreciate you joining us. <laughs> Bjork says, maybe a Godzilla pirate. <laughs> Could be a Godzilla pirate. I would definitely wait for that. Hold your breath for that one. Yeah, you should definitely, that, that'll totally happen. All right, well, let's pop up the white out of here and let's do some white highlights and we'll wrap this guy up. Mm -mm -mm. Right Every time I catch Bunny on the video, he just turns his butt to the camera. Yeah, <laughs> Bunny's all butt. Oh, Stacy Gaines saying that uh, Day of the Dead Elvis would be cool. There has been an Elvis. There has been an Elvis. I have actually painted a Day of the Dead Elvis. He is on the toilet, and he is surrounded by pills <laughs> and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he is on the verge of death. And he's on the verge of death, so done. What else you got? Next. <laughs> it's not on the site anymore. <laughs> he's not on the site, but if you search David Lozo, what was the name of the piece? What's that? What was the name of that piece? Elvis on his throne. If you search David Lozo, Elvis on his throne, 
because that's funny. You will see that piece. Sharon says, new tap, that Skelly Moon is awesome. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I love the stars tied up there. I think that's my favorite part of the, the moon. And the, yeah, the fact that these are falling down. Jen Guzman over on Instagram says, badass moon. Thank you, Jen, appreciate it. I'm gonna just pop some, couple of highlights on this bad boy. So if you're doing small, why don't you move it down a little bit? Well, let's pop down here. Yep. Just adds a little texture in there. What do the sound effects do? Uh, they make this perfect. Listen, we found out I, draw, I drew D&D &D maps as a kid. Um, what, what was the other embarrassing thing? Uh, Rocket Club. Yeah, Rocket Clubs. I mean, I don't know what you're trying to do to me here. Says it looks like an evil cheese move. <laughs> Does look like evil cheese. <laughs> Why is the cheese so mad? <laughs> We're just popping in just a little bit of white highlights on some of these just to get the color a little bit more depth. So using this enamel, obviously I can I pop highlights, but I also can fix some of this stuff in the whites if I feel like it's missing something or you know something poured too thick. Mm, move it up. Right. Moving it up, moving it up. Let's go to the phones. Are you gonna see the dog butt? Yeah, you're gonna see dog butts. I'll try to see if I can get somebody in position. <laughs> she will attempt to show you, you're gonna be disappointed, it is not as interesting as you'd imagine. Because they don't care about this whole thing. But thankfully, because if they did care, here he goes, turning his butt to the camera. He's like, there you go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that view. It's like, I will not be pawed at. All right. Pop a couple stars on here, and then we're good. All right, now I'm gonna fix that little face and get screwed up, and we'll be done. And we'll sign it, and we're good to go. Stacy's saying I haven't been to Prescott in a while. Do you still love art up there? Yes, Stacy is a full. I have a full selection of uh, canvas prints, paper prints, mini prints, and an original, all still in Prescott. So if you guys are in, in Arizona in the area, that's the best place to, to see my work right now. 
full selection of stuff. Ms. Alicia saying the piece is amazing. Thank you, Ms. Alicia. Appreciate that. If I pronounced the name wrong, I apologize for that too. I'm not bright here. Fumbling names. We hear you, bunnies. The only spot I wanted to fix. All right. Oh, and she's saying that's where she bought your work too. So you trust it. Oh, excellent. Nice. Thank you guys. I'm just gonna fix one more thing. It's got a fat face. Too fat. Botox and done. This is the stuff that you could needle with for ever. Nothing can ever be finished. So. Just so you know, your sister and others are making fun of you on Facebook for not doing tarot card decks. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Lots of complaints. I would complain too. Yeah. What's this guy even doing? Why is he jamming out 75 tarot decks mm -hmm. for the five girls that one is right now asking me to do it? They said wah and boo-hoo. And... Oh yeah. <laughs> Christy says this is Awesome. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate it. Or Chrissy, sorry. Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. Let me uh, fix what I just did there. I'm like, fix something, mess up something. Fix something, mess up something. Put that there. Stacy says she messaged um, the link to the Cactus Christmas song. Have a So that's a little sign there at the bottom. And just to give you guys a view, I'll give you a final shot of it in the frame. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I want to thank the collector who snatched it up, obviously. I appreciate that. We'll do more um, in the coming, probably in the next couple of days. And throughout Christmas, we'll do some fun ones. So keep an eye on the stream. You can always catch us here on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. Thank you guys for joining me. Pop this in here without breaking it. There you go. You can kind of see how it is in the uh, all in there. So again, thank you guys. Appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.